Hey guys, Jarek here, and I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of Black. Yes, the late PS2 game Black. Why am I doing a full playthrough of this game? Well, I got a few weeks before Bioshock Infinite comes out, and I do plan on doing a full playthrough of Bioshock Infinite. So I figure I might as well upload something a little bit different than just seeing, you know, Killing Floor over and over on my channel. Don't get me wrong, nothing's wrong with Killing Floor, but uh, I do like having some variety. So, so let's go ahead and go back and play some Black. I am playing this through a PS2 emulator called PCSX2. Uh, so you do see some glitches every now and then, um, as my roommate described it, it's like missing no eight the sky sometimes. Uh, the skyboxes are very messed up. Sometimes when you're reloading, half the gun kind of disappears, goes, uh, kind of ghost on you. So, you know, it does the usual emulator stuff, but overall the game is still very, very playable. And, um, really just small stuff that you'll notice, but nothing really too major. So let's go ahead and play. Keller, J. Sergeant First Class, serial number 7178412. Iran, Guatemala, Colombia, Croatia. Very impressive. I know what you're trying to do, sir. It ain't gonna work. No, Sergeant Keller. You don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm here to clean up this mess. If you cooperate. If I walk out that door, everything you did will be declassified. You will be convicted, you will be discharged, you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Very well, Sergeant. Have it your way. Wait. What do you want me to do? Tell me everything you know about 7th Wave. Weapons dealers. Heavy hitters dealing mostly in high-spec, former Eastern Bloc hardware. Clients began to include terror cells. 7th Wave was escalated to priority status after they took out nine agency spooks. Coordinated executions. <sighs> Division wanted 7th Wave taken out with extreme prejudice. Intel zeroed in on three possible targets. Valencia was the boss. Ruben and Yevtizhenko were the muscle. Three teams were tasked with Overwatch until it was time to take them out. I had one of those teams. Intel suspected the Brits, Chinese, and Israelis had teams in the area. Everyone was after these guys. Who was the fourth man? Gun for hire. Didn't think much of him at the time. What went wrong? We got made. So when I first played this game back in the day, for some odd reason, I, um, I don't know, I remember not liking it, and I honestly don't know why I didn't like this game back in the day, because going back and playing it now, I'm having a decent amount of fun with it, although it does feel very last gen, um, you know, the aiming being just kind of aimed on the sights, there's, you cannot change the sensitivity of the aiming in any way whatsoever, so I'm going to be missing a lot, it's incredibly awkward to aim. 5-1, five 5-1, one, five one. this is Hammerhead 6-2, top advises streets barricaded to the north. We are circling around you to find an alternate route, over. Copy that, 6-2. You don't get this pistol very much, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep using it. What you got, sir? Damn, this thing is strong. Hammerhead 6 2, this is 2 5. We're pinned down. I have multiple casualties. Request priority medevac on my location. Hammerhead 
looks like two body shots and it kills someone. You don't get much of a chance to use it, at least in the uh, few levels I've played. I didn't play this game all the way through. Like I said, I wasn't a very big fan of it. But I'm definitely enjoying it a little bit more now. So this is kind of like a new experience to be honestly. I played, I think, the first two levels back in the day, and uh, I borrowed it from my brother to play it. And gave it back after the first two levels. I didn't hate it, I just didn't really have motivation to continue playing it. There is a lot of shooting going on out there. run away from my grenade. Wow, that guy crumpled. Let's get on top of it. You get a lot of Uzi, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, drop that Uzi and keep using this. Hot, so did not miss. This aiming is really quite as awkward as uh, as it looks. Anyone that watches my channel knows I'm not this bad at aiming. Keep my shotgun! few games that really actually gives shotguns a lot of power. Like, it really feels like you are firing actually kind of a power up in this game. Whoa! Hello, uh, going through the wall. Man, I got launched. <laughs> this uh, this emulator works fine, but the first level is very, very glitchy. It will lag you through walls, and it pretty much skipped me forward to almost the very end of the level. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and actually play through this level. All right, now who shoot me in the back? Give me one of these AKs. I know you're up there. No. All right. 
So this is where I was. I had just walked into that museum and then uh, the world decided, no, you're over on the other side of the map, which is kind of interesting. You can't throw grenades to save your life in this game. They're really effective because they're super strong, but uh... Now, this is one of those games where you look at it and you're playing it now and it does, it looks very very dated. Um, but back in the day... This game did a lot of things that other games kind of didn't do back then. Like, most of these things are sort of standards. Oh, hello, RPG. Hey, you, get the fuck down. As I was saying, a lot of things in this game are standard nowadays in most shooters. But, um, back in the day, this did a lot of things that you didn't see a whole lot, and gunplay was very, very important to this game. I mean, this game was basically gun porn. That's pretty much what it was. And, uh, you didn't see that in a whole lot of games. And I guess it did kind of give it the, uh, kind of annoying... It did sort of kickstart the annoying modern military cliche shooter bullshit, but you know, this was legitimately a good game, so I can't really blame this game for that. <laughs> Get down from there. Just to be sure. Nope. You will hold your position, Bravo. I can't wait here. I'm moving out. Oh, I thought that was a blueprint I could pick up. All right, that level took a lot longer than it was supposed to, just because of how glitchy it is. The so far, the other levels seem to work perfectly fine with this emulator.